Hey, what's up, guys? So, tomorrow I'll be showing you a day in my life as a store processing tech in a surgery center. Okay guys, it's time for us to go. Um, so in the morning, we just uh, drink some coffee, wash our face. I don't really take a shower in the morning. I do it sometimes um, in the morning, sometimes after work. It depends on the mood. All right, so when we get there, um, so it's gonna be a business building. So they don't check our temperature there anymore, but we have to um, sign a document online for us to justify that we are not sick for the day and we are fit for work. Alright guys, I'll show you when we get there. So I'm not wearing shoes because there's actually uh, working shoes that we keep in the hospital. And over here, there's the building. There's a lot of other businesses in there. So let's go. So we're in our elevator. Uh, when we get there, we're just gonna we're just gonna clock in and uh, do that at the station. They change the scrap.
break.
lunchtime. So I'll take this off and breathe a little bit better. So I like taking my lunch in my car. So I have a better break. Right, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, break is over. I had a good lunch and took a few minutes nap. Now it's time to put back this mask on and that hair in it. Alright, see you guys inside. Another break with a view. One and a half hour before my shift end, I push a last load in the sterilizer if there's any. And um, by this time, since it's almost going home, I would just clean up, uh, prepare what uh, what's not finished. I just make sure everything is washed, and then uh, leave it down and um, separate what needed to be sterilized uh, first tomorrow. So as long as everything is clean and ready to be uh, ready to be assembled and uh, or sterilized, then should be fine. Um, if I have time, I would wrap them all, so that way tomorrow it would be it would be quick uh, process. Otherwise, um, I'll just clean them up and then uh, set it aside for assembly and wrapping tomorrow. Then it's realized. It's almost time to go, so stay with me. type of uh, facility usually there's only one to two three SPD tech so you have to uh, really learn how to manage your time this is the only problem here uh, by the time you get off it's gonna be so traffic in this place Okay guys, I'm already home. So the technique if you are working in a surgery center, you just really have to have the skills of uh, time management and prioritization. Um, Cause most of, uh, most of the facility will only have one SPD tag, sometimes two or three. And um, also often they only have enough instruments so a lot of time you have to turn around instruments so you really have to um, know how to manage your time and which you have to know which to prioritize so the reason why I had to pull, push the last load an hour and a half before my shift end because the process in the sterilizer is about an hour right 45 47 minutes and so that way I still have time to 
uh, cool down the, the BI and also lock the BI and read the BI. Majority of the facilities have 24 minutes readout, so you have enough time to read it. And so what I do while, while waiting for the load to, to be done, I just make sure that uh, every all the instruments used in the surgery for th for this day are cleaned. That way, um, by tomorrow, if I need if if I need to reprocess them, it will be ready for me to assemble and then just wrap them. Or if there's no not no dirty instruments to clean, but there is uh, sets to be assembled, I would assemble them and uh, wrap them if there's more there's still time and using a prioritization so how would you know if which sets to, is to be prioritized well you have to you have to know how to check the schedule uh, us usually um, a schedule should be put up by the end of the day or at least before you go home some facility would have the schedule ready for uh, for the whole week or even the whole month but uh, this type of uh, this specific facility they don't they don't have this the schedule for the following day until um, uh, the end of the day so what I do is just I check uh, before I go home so that way I know and if it, even if I don't have time to you know um, sterilize them today I know which to uh, prioritize tomorrow so that way I won't be running around as much um, when I come to work tomorrow. And another another thing is since over here this is a small facility so I also do the anesthesia tech job. So at the end of the day I have to uh, unplug everything make sure uh, everything is refilled and also the anesthesia cart is refilled. So that way uh, tomorrow uh, I won't have much uh, to to prepare. Otherwise, if I don't have time to prepare them, I can do with them tomorrow. So in the morning I do the calibration and uh, refilling the stuff in the cart that is missing or used. And also the medication. So the medication I also uh, uh, refill them and then check them their expiration daily. So it's a little bit challenging but at the same time it's doable since uh, the facility is really small so those are just uh, stuff that you have to be uh, uh, focused on like there's just stuff you just have to know which uh, items are you just have to know which item you have to be really careful with or which item is supposed to be uh, reprocessed some some uh, some instruments or equipments are has has to be reprocessed the same day like especially if it's only if if it's one of a kind or let's say it was used the last case for today but then you don't have time to reprocess them today just make sure that it's not needed tomorrow uh first thing um but if it is make sure you um you you have to repros reprocess the set today you can let your manager know that you have to do it you have to stay for overtime just to get it uh done because if you let it go it will be a big problem the following day or if you have time to reprocess them tomorrow then you can just uh, set it aside leave yourself a note so that way you don't forget about it when you come to work in the morning all right guys so we're here i'm just gonna get some rest take a shower and get back with you guys all right it was a good nap take a shower too um so guys if you like this kind of videos if you are interested in storm processing uh please watch my other videos it's gonna be in a storm processing playlist so um and if you have any questions please comment down below um, for anything i will answer them for you if you haven't already please subscribe on my channel and don't forget to like this uh, video so i can get more uh, viewers so guys this is a day in my life as a star or processing tech in a surgery center see you next video